Welcome to the webinar. If you're looking for the United States Gold Bureau, you're in the right place. My name is John Poley. I'm your host of the Bureau of Briefings. Each month we bring you content that has been requested from customers and inquiries from the previous month. After each webinar, our live attendees get a link to the full recording and a brief survey that actually helps the United States Gold Bureau choose the perfect topics for you. Our topic today is safe storage and security. The best practices for owning precious metals. My special guest today is Joshua Hoy, and he is a product manager at the United States Gold Bureau. Seems like you're becoming a regular on these webinars. Oh, thank you for having me back again. I enjoy it. Great to have you. Uh, Joshua, you were a previ previously a precious metal specialist at the United States Gold Bureau before your current role. Mm -hmm. How many times did storage come up when speaking to clients? Well, uh, pretty much with every new client I spoke with. Uh, in the years, I worked with you know experienced metals investors and people that were just getting started. And uh, all of them, in one way or another, had a concern about where they wanted to keep their metals. Sounds like we have the right guy sitting right next to me. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we've been in business for two decades. Mm -hmm. I'd love it if you'd give a little bit of a background for the United States Gold Bureau. Absolutely. Uh, so the United States Gold Bureau is the largest authorized numismatic bulk purchaser of U.S. mint products in the country. And we work with some of the more reputable refineries and mints across the globe. As such, we can guarantee the origin, authenticity, purity, and quality of every product that we offer. We are an authorized dealer for NGC and PCGS, and we have full state compliance and oversight on the Texas Bullion Depository, also known as TXBD. Uh, through our parent company, Lone Star Tangible Assets, the United States Gold Bureau was selected by the state of Texas to build and operate the Texas Bullion Depository, which is the only state-administered precious metal storage facility in the country. Uh, since 2003, the United States Gold Bureau has been able to do over $2 billion worth of transactions. That's quite the track record for the uh, U.S. Gold Bureau. Well, we have a lot of success for our clients. We must would, be doing something I right. I would say so. Mm -hmm. You know, on the screen, we have a financial disclaimer. You know, while we have that up, we'd also like to go over today's format. Uh, the topic is safe storage and security. Uh, you will have Joshua and I for the next 15 minutes. It's going to be action packed, I promise. <laughs> I will cover a lot of content as part of our live audience. You get to ask questions on this Zoom webinar, but with almost 300 registrations, and I don't know how many attendees I see them coming in <laughs> right now, it'd be a little bit overwhelming if we tried to answer every question. We're gonna, we're gonna have a great process for you. We'll talk about that. If you do ask your live questions uh, to make sure you get a quick answer. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna be clear. We're not tax professionals. We recommend that you seek the advice of a tax professional for any tax related questions. Now, like I mentioned today, the main topic is safe storage and security. You know, Joshua, I think it would be great if you start out with an explanation of what is a precious metals depository and then some of the subtopics that we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into. Okay, perfect. Uh, so first, a precious metals depository is a facility that is designed specifically for the safe storage of precious metals. Uh, we're gonna to touch on some key features you'll wanna be aware of before opening an account with a depository and how to open one with the Texas Bullion Depository. Now, Joshua, I see that first bullet point there. I'm real curious, you know, 50 states, do we really know the location of all the state administered depositories in the United States? Well, it's not as difficult as it sounds because the Texas Bullion Depository is the first and only state administered bullion depository in the United States. Now, our facility is managed with oversight from the Texas Comptroller's and Governor's Office and all metals stored in the Texas Bullion Depository are insured for the full metals content value through Lloyd's of London. There may be potential tax benefits from purchasing certain precious metals through the United States Gold Bureau and storing them in the Texas Bullion Depository. You know, we get the question a lot, do all states charge the same sales tax on pre precious metals? So it's a great question. And no, every state is different in how they charge sales tax on precious metals. Here in Texas, platinum bullion coins and palladium bullion are taxable. Now you say platinum bullion coins and palladium bullion. Uh, could you clarify the distinctions and what about investment grade platinum and palladium coins? Yeah. So um, as we've mentioned in a previous webinar, bullion versus investment grade. Bullion is any form of metal valued by its weight and bullion coins have a currency denomination. So platinum American Eagle bullion coins would incur sales tax 
but a platinum bar would not in the state of Texas. Now, investment grade platinum and palladium do not incur sales tax since they are not valued based off their weight like bullion. Well, they don't make these taxes easy to understand, do they? <laughs> well, of course not. You know, uh, now that we know a little bit more about what you can hold into account, why don't we take a look at what you'll need to open an account. Uh, the process of opening an account with the Texas Bullion Depository can be completed entirely online. Uh, first, you'll need a U.S. issued driver's license and an acceptable secondary form of ID, birth certificate, passports, voter registration cards, and an acceptable form of proof of address, something like a utility bill, bank statement, or vehicle registration. You know, Joshua, what if I want to leave this account to a family member or a loved one? So that's a very, very important aspect of your any precious metals account. Now, when you open an account with the Texas Bullion Depository, there is a required page for you to fill out to designate a beneficiary. A beneficiary, you know, in my case, I have two kids. I'm I able to designate more than one beneficiary or do I have to pick a favorite child? <laughs> well, no need to pick a favorite. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, you're able to designate multiple beneficiaries and assign a whole percentage allocation to each beneficiary. Uh, Joshua, Joshua, how do I know that the metals that I put into the depository are going to be the same metals that I pull out? So, well, that's pretty easy with the Texas Bullion Depository. It is a segregated storage facility, meaning the metals that are being delivered to the depository are the same metals you will receive back. That's good to hear. <laughs> Uh, so what are the benefits to using a segregated storage facility like the Texas Bullion Depository versus an unsegregated facility? So the Texas Bullion Depository, again, offers segregated storage, which means that the metals you submit for storage under your account are the exact same metals you will receive back when you make a withdrawal from your account. In non-segregated storage facilities, the metals that you store are considered commercially interchangeable. The storage fee can be lower in non-segregated storage than in segregated storage, but there is no guarantee that you will get the exact year or brand that you deposited. Uh, this is an important aspect if you plan on getting your coins graded, as with graded or certified coins, oftentimes the condition and the year play a big part in the value. Well, that's a lot to, a lot to know. <laughs> Joshua, do, you, do all depositories charge the same storage fees? So no, each depository charges a different storage rate. Now here at the Texas Bullion Depository, the minimum you will pay is in storage is $100 a year, equivalent to a half a percent of a $20,000 initial investment. You know, I've heard of depositories giving out loans if you have an account with them. Does the Texas Bullion Depository give out loans to account holders? And is that even a smart idea? Well, so the Texas Bullion Depository does not issue loans, uh, but there are depositories that do. Is it a smart idea? Well, that's honestly going to depend on the situation. Uh, you always want to make sure and read all financial policies regarding rates and penalties. We recommend speaking with your financial advisor before making that decision. You know, it's a lot like insurance. You always want to cover all your bases. Absolutely. I've read a lot of depositories that give out loans or privately owned. Since the Texas Bullion Depository has state oversight, are there any advantages? Well, you know, the separation of powers or checks and balances is one of the main advantages to holding your metals at the Texas Bullion Depository. So we operate this depository, but the Comptroller's and Governor's Office perform their own audits in addition to ours. Now, in private depositories, if all the power is held by one person or company what assurance do you have that your irreplaceable assets are being properly handled? Dealers move bulk metals in and out of their vaults all the time, and there could be a conflict of interest. Now, Joshua, I've learned that depositories can sometimes fail. What would cause a depository to collapse? So this does happen, as with any business. A depository can fail for a number of reasons. One of the more obvious reasons is lending more than they have in assets. Lehman Brothers, one of the largest investment banks in the world, filed for bankruptcy in September of 2008, triggering a global financial crisis. One of the significant lessons from this collapse is the risk of asset commingling and the resulting loss of ownership. Boy, Lehman Brothers. Been a while since I've heard that name. It's probably going to be a long time before we hear it again. I hope so. You know, being the Fort Knox of Texas, what is the security like in this building, in this depository? Well, to put it frankly, it's a little bit of a secret. 
but what I can tell you is that the Texas Bullion Depository is in the business of security. The depository utilizes multiple mitigating security controls to safely secure the assets of depository account holders. The security controls and procedures implemented at the depository are like those used to protect important government assets. The depository and its accounts are safeguarded by state police officers from the Texas Comptroller's Criminal Investigation Division. They are supplemented by armed security employed by Lone Star Tangible Assets. Both agencies ensure the safety and security of depository operations. You know, since the parent company of the United States Gold Bureau operates the Texas Bullion Depository for the state, how difficult is it to liquidate metals in my account? So it's actually pretty simple. Um, once you initiate a withdrawal from your Texas Bullion Depository account, you can call a or your United States Gold Bureau Precious Metal Specialist and liquidate your bullion metals through the United States Gold Bureau website and lock in your price in about 10 minutes. Uh, if you're withdrawing certified coins, then we will get you a quote for your withdrawn metals in about 72 hours. That's pretty fast. Oh, that's great. So two companies under the same roof working to help our clients with all the precious metal needs. Uh, that's great. Nice I would synergy. say so. Now, whether you are storing in the Texas Bullion Depository or prefer your metals a little bit closer to home, the United States Gold Bureau offers full transparency. Now, you can log on to your Texas Bullion Depository account to view the current market value or and anybody that purchases metals through the United States Gold Bureau gets a free portfolio tracker that shows real time market value for what you have purchased. Since the United States Gold Bureau is one of the largest distributors of U.S. Mint products in the country, and we work with many of the most reputable refineries, we always have inventory for our clients. Now, even though we always have a large inventory of metals at any given time, standard ship time is two weeks unless otherwise communicated. This is to ensure the safe and secure processing of payments and the reliable shipping of your precious metals. U.S. Mint products like gold and silver American Eagles and gold American Buffaloes are some of the most recognizable coins in the world. Why wouldn't we recommend them? You know you're getting a quality product from the U.S. Mint, and more importantly, so does everybody else. Uh, there are even a few hidden benefits to owning U.S. Minted coins that a precious metal specialist would be happy to inform y'all on. You know, hidden benefits? I think we need to have a conversation right after this webinar. Oh, we'll go, let's go grab a coffee. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, we're almost out of time. Uh, you just mentioned the U.S. Gold Bureau being a medium of exchange. I'd love it if we could go over the buyback guarantee for some of our new viewers. Yeah, definitely. So uh, at the United States Gold Bureau, if you do business with us, we will do business with you. Uh, bullion will be liquidated at the current market value or spot price, as we've mentioned before. Uh, if investment grade has been held for five years or more, we recommend taking advantage of our consignment program. Uh, but you always have the option to take an immediate bid price if it's an emergency. It is the best buyback in the industry, I have to say. I like to think so. I'd like to point out at the usgoldbureau.com, we have a new designed website mm -hmm. and we have the information all over that website about this exclusive program for our clients. Today, we have learned the importance of safe storage and security and the one of a kind opportunity with the Texas Bullion Depository and the U.S. Gold Bureau. 24 hours after this live webinar, we'll send you an email with a link to the recording and our past webinars that we referenced today. If you have a pen handy, get it out. You can contact us at 1-800-775-3504 to speak with one of our precious metal specialists. Again, that phone number is 1-800-775-3504. If you did ask a question on the webinar today, I saw a bunch of questions coming in, lots of content we couldn't answer right away, but we have a great process. We're going to hand those questions after this webinar mm -hmm. uh, to our precious metal specialist to reach out to you promptly during business hours. Joshua, thank you for being here covering safe storage and security and the Texas Bullion Depository. Hey, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be back. And I love seeing these growing audiences every month. We'll see you next time, next month, on another great topic that you have helped us pick out. Very nice. Thanks, everyone. Take it easy.